Hello, students. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, everybody. It's a pleasure to see you hello. once again. Well, to listen to you because I cannot see anybody right now. I don't know if it's my connection or you don't have- No, your... it's one moment, please. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. Okay, welcome to your last class of the week. Today is Thursday. We are in our class number 12. Okay, there we go. Hello, Blanquita. I can see you now. I saw Jancy. But I couldn't see you anymore. Hello, Julio. Hello, Heidi. Hello, Mr. Marlon. Hello, good night. Good, good evening. Night. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> yes. Hello, how are you? I am doing great. How are you, Mr. Marlon? Oh, it is good. All is good, you say. Very good. Yes. Job. Okay. Yeah. So we are going to start our class today by sharing a little bit. Today we have a class full of practice. We're going to practice a lot of speaking. And I hope you have uh, had the chance to advance in the platform. Today we receive a message from the coordinators that they are going to check the platform during the weekend. I think you have finished already with almost everything and that's fantastic. So you don't have any any difficulty if you have already no. finished. Yes? yes? Mr. Julio, did you finish the exercises? I think, yes. Okay, what was the problem? Uh, maybe uh, when I type the uh, the period and the end of the sentence. Oh, okay. But now <laughs> it appears complete. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I already almost finished the the section five. Oh, that's fantastic! Perfect. That's very, very, very good. Because Thank I you. was I was Thank trying you for to... the help. No, don't worry. <laughs> I, I I feel glad that I can. Uh, collaborate a little bit on on the exercises i mean that's yeah. it's a pleasure blanquita how are you doing with the platform um well the fourth season section section so sorry and it starts uh, the monday but really don't want this week but i hope so today or tomorrow uh, complete it. Okay. If you have any question, if you need any help, there are some exercises there that we have been uh, discussing in the WhatsApp group. Uh, but try to advance today uh, at night or tomorrow during the day because they are going to check the advancement during the week. The, I mean, says the uh -huh. section four, it's finished in this week, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, uh, but uh, all the platform, all the exercises, you should have finished them uh, before next week. Next week. Uh -huh. Before next week. So with if, the, with if the last, you... Uh, the last time too. Exactly. All the platform should be done by Monday or Tuesday, okay? Because on Wednesday, we have the general review of the platform. Mm -hmm. And uh, that day we are going to check that all the exercises are completed and we are going to check that all the exams are done and finished, okay, on Wednesday. On Thursday, we are going to have the final presentations and that's the it. Party. And the party, right? We are going to have a party with pizza and horchata here, <laughs> <laughs> like in oh, the good. school, right? Yeah, ese día pueden venir de particular. <laughs> yeah. Casual day. Yeah, it's casual. casual. Day. It's it's cowboy day. It, we're going to have a country day. Okay. So on Wednesday it will be going, a party. Yeah, we're going to have a party here. Yeah, yeah, por ahí Blanquita va a recolectar el dólar para la pizza y la horchata. Yeah. Yeah. Ana Yancy nos va a traer unos pasteles. Ahí ya le vamos a dar también otro dólar. 
todos vamos a colaborar. Okay. <laughs> Agree with you. Yes. <laughs> uh, but that will be on Wednesday. On Wednesday, we are going to do the general review of everything, the exams and all that. And on Thursday, you have oral presentations. Okay. El jueves tienen exámenes orales. Así que van a hacer una presentación el día jueves. Ah, así todo acá. Van a hacer una presentación en general para cerrar el módulo. Eh, ¿En la presentación de qué se estarán preguntando? Eh, en la presentación, for sure, it's going to be in English. You are going to include eh, the things that we studied during the module. What did you like the most? What do you need to work more? And what are your expectations for the next module? Okay. ¿Qué les gustó más? ¿Qué fue lo que disfrutaron más? Y este, ¿qué es lo que necesitan mejorar? Y ¿cuáles son sus expectativas para la próxima, eh, el próximo módulo? Okay. Eh, Catherine, I am going to write it on the chat. Teacher. Yes. And can you... Tell us the next model. I would be glad to do it, but that is, uh, it's a matter of, of the organization of the modules. I would be more than glad. Yo fascinada. Yeah. Be que se lo pedimos. <laughs> that would be perfect. But uh, we never know. Casi nunca sabemos cuál es el módulo que nos toca el siguiente. Puede ser un hey. beginner, un advanced, un intermediate. Ya, yeah, todos soñamos con tener el mismo, el, el siguiente. Yes. That would be amazing. Pero miren, la vida nos puede juntar otra vez en unos dos módulos más. Pero el que le doy el, el diploma de avanzado, allá se lo voy a dar. Eso sí, no lo nieguen. Allá. Chan, 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 Julio Roberto Berganza Cruz. Ay, va a pasar ahí a recibir su diploma. <risa> I have a question. Uh, Tell me. How, uh, uh, really two questions. Yep. Uh, we need to use some kind of template for powerful PowerPoint presentation. Well, you don't need or... to, okay. You can have a presentation. You can have a presentation, uh, a PowerPoint presentation. It is not oh. obligatory. It is not, if it's not, uh, if you don't consider it necessary, Okay. There are many students who present PowerPoint presentations with the details and things. If you consider it necessary, you can do it. It's not a, an obligation to have a template. You can have it in general, but uh, it is not an obligation because I am going to be evaluating your speaking and your production. Okay, so uh, that's basically it. It's not very long because the presentations take like two or three minutes oh, per okay. person. This is the second question. Yes, the, the presentations time. take like two or three minutes per person. And, and it is basically about you, okay? About you, about uh, how did you feel in the module? Uh, what did you learn? What did you like? What, uh, if there is something that you didn't like, you can also share it. And also, uh, what are your expectations for the next? Okay. ¿Qué es, un, ¿Qué es algo en lo que tienen que trabajar más? También lo pueden incluir en su presentación. Catherine, can you listen now? Yes. Mm -hmm. En ratitos se escucha bien, pero en otros ratitos nada. Ok, qué raro. ¿Y los demás tienen problemas con el audio? No, no, sí. This is no, perfect sí. for me. Ok, quizás estamos muy lejos del internet, Catherine. Hay que acercarnos. Creo que lado. eso es. Yeah. En que ya me saqué un poquito más, pero ah, okay. todavía. Ok, Ay, si no quitémosle a los demás. No hay, en la casa hay alguien que nos está quitando el inter, ¿vale? Se me cierran esos videos. <risa> sí, si hay alguien que se está comiendo el ancho de banda ahí, vaya, mándelo a acostar ya. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a big problem in the connections. Usually okay. is that. Yeah, that's that's the biggest problem. That happens yes. with my kid that in some cases he starts watching series or something and I am like, nah, don't touch it. <laughs> but uh, it's the most common situation. <clears throat> well, 
Let's move on business. Today we are going to have the practice of the if clauses. I know it's a very uh, kind of complicated, difficult topic, but uh, we're going to practice today. We're going to practice a lot. Right, yesterday we were working on this one. We were working on the if clauses, right? We created a lot of sentences of what might happen if we don't have internet connection, right? We created we this one. We will die if we don't have internet connection, <laughs> right? We were working on this one. If the if clause comes at the beginning, we use a comma. If not, we don't use it. So uh, we were working on these exercises yesterday. This was one of the last exercises we had and I assigned a little homework for all of you to complete these three situations. What would happen if, if you forget your charger on a trip? What will happen if you leave your phone at home? And what will happen if you forget your money? and you go to the street and you don't have money. So what are your answers for these three situations? Who can help me? Uh -huh. The Democratically. Uh, I, can, I can try the first one. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, it says if you forget your charger on a trip, uh, you, won't, uh, you won't be able to communicate. You won't be able to communicate. Very good. Any other possibility? What will happen if you forget your charger on a trip? Uh, if you Char forget your charger on a trip, you will you will run out of battery. You will run out of battery, and that's the worst, right? There is nothing worse than you see like 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, and then red and then it dies that's the worst off. that's the worst thing mostly when you are far from your house but nowadays many people has a charger there okay uh, let's see blanca what is your answer for this one if you forget your charger on a trip if i forget my church on the trip maybe i can talk with my friends when the, my cell phones die. Okay, I won't talk. I won't, I won't I talk. Won't talk with my friends when my cell phone dies. Okay, very good. Julio, what is your answer for this one? If you forget your charger on a trip, you won't be able to take some pictures. You won't be able to take pictures. That's important, right? Because you need yeah. some memories of the trip. <laughs> Good, very good, very good situation, good. Mr. Milton, what is your answer for the first one? If you forget your charger on a trip? Mr. Milton? I cannot listen to Richard, you. Yes? What does mean charger? Uh, the charger, what for the, charger for the phone, the charger. Hook. Cargador. El cargador. El cargador. Yes. It's a, it's a good problem, teacher. <laughs> if you forget your chair on a trip, well, well, uh, you should be uh, uh, um, prestar another person. Ah, you will have to lend. You will have to lend. To lend um, another another person or, or you can you can buy another you can buy another right <laughs> that's good you will have to lend one okay you will have to lend one that's a very good answer right or you can buy another one right nah it's like take my money here you have some bitcoins you will say for another <laughs> charger mr martin <laughs> yes, Mr. Barlon, what is your uh, opinion about the second one? If you leave your phone at home, I will back uh, fast, fast. I will. I will back. Ah, you. I will die. I think <laughs> I was like, what? I yeah, will. I, will, I will come back. I will come back. 
fast. very fast. Okay, you will yes. come back very fast. Good. Because uh, I work with my, my cell phone. You work with your phone. That's very good. Okay. Yes. Very nice. Heidi, what will happen if you leave your phone at home? And the, and the problem might work. You will have a problem at your work, right? Yes, teacher. <laughs> yeah, because we need it for working. Uh, Ismael, yes. what will be the problem if you leave your phone at home? Uh, um, if I leave my phone at home, I won't check Facebook. You won't check Facebook, right? Because, I mean, <laughs> if you don't have it, come on, you won't have the chance to check Facebook. If you forget your money and you go out, what happens? Imagine that you finish the morning and you run and everything and boom, you leave, but you don't have money. You but probably must back home. <laughs> you probably, yeah. You, you will probably come back home because I mean, you cannot take the bus, you're gonna take a, a taxi or whatever. You have to go back home to get the money. Okay. I will pay with the wallet. If I forget my money at home, I will use the wallet to pay. Only transactions. Catherine, what will happen if you forget your money? Um, if you're going to have to, well, you have to go back to have the money. Okay. If you if you will be late where where you join okay you will have to go back home to get the money and you will be late for work yes that's why you have to go out early not on time right let's see i have here another little practice and we have it here right remember that the if close it's composed like this, right? You have the if clause, and then you have the main clause, that it's the complement of the sentence. And we have the two forms to do this, the if clause. If it rains, he will bring his umbrella. If it rains, he won't play outside. He will bring his umbrella if it rains. He won't play outside if it rains. We have the two forms. You can have the if clause at the beginning or at the end of the sentence. And based on this example, we are going to complete these sentences. And I need you to use your notebook for this. What are you going to do if the phone rings? What will you do if the phone rings? ¿Qué hacemos si el teléfono suena? Answer. Ah, how do you make a complete sentence with that? If the phone rings, Running and, <laughs> I, and will run. and I will run. I will run and answer. When I was child, phone rings and always I will run because <laughs> I I I first with my fight with my my sister to when, answer. Yes. I hope that's the answer first. Yes, and and we were like, hello. And then we used to say like, ¿Quién habla? And the other person used to say, yo. I mean, uh -huh, I know yo, but who, yo who? <laughs> that was a very common thing. Mostly before the, the ID, the color ID. Antes que los identificadores de llamadas existieran, the phone was the big thing. And people used to make an, uh, phone calls just to bother other people. So if the phone rings, I will run and answer. Good. I will laugh. <laughs> I will laugh. And if, I'm, if I'm happy. If I am happy, I will laugh. If I am happy. Good. I will laugh if I am happy. Good, very good. If our exam is not tomorrow, si no hacemos el examen mañana, I what will, will be happen? happy. <laughs> I will be happy. <laughs> and it's not going to be because tomorrow it's Friday. 
you will be happy. The next one, they won't buy a new car. Ellos no van a comprar un carro nuevo. If. If I don't have money. Ajá, uh -huh, but we're talking about they. They, so, ellos. Ajá, uh -huh. if they. Ellos, mm, they won't. No van a comprar un uh -huh. carro. So but, you say. But buy a used car. Carro usado. Okay, they won't buy a new car, but I will keep the first answer. Me voy a quedar con tu primera respuesta. They won't buy a new car if they don't have the money. Okay, la corrección era aquí. If they, porque dijimos if I. Y entonces estamos hablando de ellos. If they don't have the money. They won't buy a new car if they don't have the money. If you hit me. Si me pegas, I will cry. I will cry. Te la devuelvo. How do you say te la devuelvo? I will hit you back. I will hit you back. Imagine, imagine our mothers. Yo creo que todos somos de la misma generación. Eh, creo que en, en el momento de nuestra infancia jamás se nos hubiera pasado esto por la cabeza. De levantarle la mano a la mamá o al papá. <ríe> así, así diera la clase sin mano. <ríe> If you hit me, I will cry. Or I will hit you back. I will give you ten dollars. If. I will give you ten dollars. If. Give you ten dollars. ¿Qué me dan? Ajá, te voy a dar diez dólares, sí. If you made your homework. If you, ajá, uh -huh. for the homework you say, if you do, if you do, okay. you do your homework. Uh -huh. if you do your homework, in wash which, my car, if you wash my car, if you wash my car, good, any other option? Cleaning my house. If you clean my house, per hour, right? <laughs> Yes. Eso, eso es por hora, ¿la? If you clean my house. In, yes. Teacher. <laughs> yes. Is, is you are a good people. Too. If you are, yeah, if you are a good person, if you are a good person, we have another option here. If you are a good person. Entonces, alistemos, quiero ver, ¿cuántos dólares? 10, 100 dólares, porque aquí tenemos 10 buenas personas. <laughs> if you are a good person, I will give you ten dollars if you do your homework, if you wash my car, if you clean my house, or if you are a good person. We have all these options for the ten dollars. If he doesn't take a bus, walk. He you, he needs walk. He will. We right. will. He will. He, he will, will walk. walk. He will walk. Or take a bike. Take your bike. Ah, okay. If he doesn't take a bus, he he will, will ride his bike. He will ride his bike. So those are options. You see, we have a the different if clauses with the possible answers here and they work out very well that's very 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 nice so let's continue practicing i have a lot of sentences to practice today so we are going to go here and here i have a lot of interview questions for all of you and we have different situations i need you to analyze all the different questions because you are going to choose two and you are going to give me the answer, okay? Necesito que las analicen todas, que las vean todas y escojan dos que van a contestar, okay? okay. I am sí, going yeah. to read them for you. La voy a leer mientras tanto. Dice, what will you do if you can't sleep tonight? If your TV breaks next week, what will you do? How will you feel if you fail your next text? If you get lots of homework, how will you feel? 
What will your teacher say if you are late tomorrow? If you feel bored next Saturday, what will you do? What will you eat if you are hungry at midnight tonight? If you want to relax after class, what will you watch on TV? What medicine will you take if you catch a call next week? If you decide to eat out, which restaurant will you go? When will you go to bed if you are really tired tonight? When, what time? If you don't eat breakfast tomorrow, will you feel hungry? The next one. Will you ask our teacher for help if you have a question? If you have some free time on Saturday, will you study more? Will you get a cat if you decide to get a new pet? And the last one, if it rains tomorrow, will you bring an umbrella? There you have the questions. I need you to choose two questions. You are going to read the two questions and to give me the answers, okay? I am going to give you my examples, okay? I am going to give you my examples. If your TV breaks next week, what will you do? If my TV breaks next week, I will go to, um, uh, to the store and buy a new one. <laughs> if you decide to eat out, which restaurant will you go? If I decide to eat out, I will definitely go to a Chinese restaurant. Those are my two questions. I am going to call different names and you are going to give me your questions and your answers, okay? If I have any volunteer to start, that would be perfect. Si tengo algún voluntario, que levante la manita y comenzamos. If not, I will ask you. Okay, <clears throat> I am going to give you like one more minute for you to analyze, think and decide. And when you feel ready, we're going to start. Analyze the question. Analicen las todas y escojan dos. Me avisan cuando las tenga. Tómense su tiempo. Ok, Blanca, go ahead. My first uh, question is, if you TV breaks next week, what will you do? I watch my cereal and the Big Bang Theory. Mm -hmm. Because never finished, never. Eh, se dice? Nunca la termino. I never finish it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, but the question is, if your TV breaks, si se arruina su tele, oh, la próxima semana, what will you do? And I, I, I yo pensé que era como breaks. The, the time. The time. time. No, si tú no. tienes un free time. Ah, no, no, no. In this case, oh my God, I, 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 I don't know. Maybe watching my, use my computer well, for watch my series. Okay, I Netflix. will use, I will use I my will computer. I will use my computer. To watch my series. To watch my series. Very good. And the next question? The next is you, if you decide to eat out, which the res restaurant would you, you go to? I will choose, choose a sushi ito. Hey, and good, eat, a sushi restaurant. And, yes, yeah, sushi restaurant. And I uh, eat uh, tepanyaki with my, my, my family, my okay, kids. Okay, very good. You will go? to a sushi restaurant, yes. very good. Okay, thank you very much. 
reactions for Blanquita. Thank you, people. Thank you very much. Okay, who's next? Teacher. Yes. In my case is, what will you do if you cannot sleep tonight? Uh -huh. I will drink tea. I will drink tea? Good. Yes, what relaxing. type of tea? What type of tea? Uh, Chamomile. Uh, uh, manzanilla? Chamomile. Animal. Uh, yeah, manzanilla. Ca chamomile tea. That's the name. Chamomile. Oh, chamomile. Very good. And okay. your second question? And the second question is, will you get a car if you decide to get a new pet? Uh -huh. in, I, in my case, not with two dogs in okay. my house. Okay, no, because you have two dogs in your house. That's a very good answer. Thank you, Heidi. Very good job. Excellent, excellent answers. Someone else? Me? Yes, go ahead. Okay, if you feel boring next Saturday, what will you do? I'll sleep all the morning. <laughs> I will sleep all the morning, <laughs> definitely. What is the next question? What will you eat if you are hungry at, mid at midnight tonight? Uh -huh. I will eat some fruit. Okay, some fruit. If you feel hungry in the middle of the night, you will eat some fruit. Some fruit. Very good job, Marlon. Excellent job on your answers. Very nice. Very nice. Who's next? Me, teacher. Go ahead. If it rain tomorrow, I I will you bring a. Uh, a uh, jacket because the umbrella I don't like it. I you... I forget it anywhere. Yes. Always. <laughs> Always. That that happened to me today. I went to do something and I had an umbrella and I left it on the door. And then yes. I, when I was in the car, I said hey, the umbrella. <laughs> and I had to go back. In the, in the bus. Yes, it's very yeah, common. So yeah. if it rains tomorrow, you will bring a jacket because you don't use umbrellas. Good. What yeah. is the second question? Second. Did your, is your TV broke break? Break the next week. I will I will buy a new book and then read it. Oh, read that, that's good. Yes. You will buy a new book and read. Good, very yeah. good. Excellent. Fantastic. I, I, can, I can lend you one. This is one of my favorite. <laughs> I have many books. Okay, good. Excellent answers for the situations. Who's next? Who's next? Hi, teacher. Go ahead, Katherine. Well, oh, I think I got I got you frozen. Se nos congeló, Catherine. You do not. Okay, Catherine, Ouch. again, again, again. Sí, fue bien. Dale, dale. <laughs> eh, diría. <laughs> Estaba viendo el internet si había ido. Este, what will What will you do if you cannot sleep, Tony? Tonight. Eh, I will. I, Tonight, uh -huh. tonight. Uh -huh. I will listen to music because it relaxes me. Hey, that's good. I will listen to music. That's yeah. a very good solution. Good. The second ends. The second question. If your TV beeps next, will what will you do? Look where it can be repaired. Hey, you can look where it can be repaired. That's a very good option. Definitely. It's a very okay, good option. Very good job. <laughs> I gave her the claps. Don't worry. Si se lo dimos. The next one. Who's next? Uh, it's me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Ismael. Ismael. Okay, the first one is uh, what medicine will you take? If you catch a cold next week, mm -hmm. uh, I will uh, take uh, 
Virogrip. Grip. Yeah, Virogrip. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's no, the... no, pag nada por este comercial. <laughs> yeah, Good. that's the the best one that I know. But if you know a better one, you can tell me. Yeah, the 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 most common one, like the what the Palagrip ones. Yeah, Palagrip. Yeah, the, that my one. my kid loves that commercial, so he recommends it every time. That's good. <laughs> okay. What is your second uh, question? The second, but the, this sounds like a yes or no question, so uh, I am not sure. It says. If it rains tomorrow, will you bring an umbrella? Uh -huh. I can say yes. yes I, will I will bring an umbrella. Yes, I, <laughs> yes, will. I will. Okay, yeah. for sure. Yes, I will. Like today, that it was raining really hard. And all of a sudden, oh, really? nothing. Yes. Here's... No, in Huachapan, we didn't have any rain. So... Oh, you're living in Huachapan. It's true. But here in San yeah. Salvador at noon, hey, it was like the end of the world. Was like, and then no, the sun. Here it was cloudy, but it didn't rain. Yeah, yeah. So here. that's good. Here it was like crazy. Fue como media hora de locura y después sol. Like, like the phrase uh, raining cats and dogs. Yeah. Or dogs and cats. Dogs and cats. It's raining cats and dogs. Definitely. Cats and dogs. It was like that. Yes, it was like that. Good. Thank you, Ismael. Go ahead, Mr. Julio. Okay. Uh, if you don't eat breakfast tomorrow, will you feel hungry? Yes, I will try to eat to get more energy. Okay, very good. Your second question. Uh, if you have some free time on Saturday, will you study more? Yes, I try to study more because I need to improve my English. I will study more. Fantastic job. Very good job. Thank you. Now, let's see. I am missing who? Ana Yancy? Go ahead. And number one is, is to decide to eat out. Um, which restaurant will you go to? Mm -hmm. Uh, I love going to Pizza Hut for garlic bread and lasagna of chicken. Hey, that's good. So you will go to a pizza restaurant. What a delicious thing. Uh -huh. And the second question? Uh, if, if it's right tomorrow, will you bring umbrella? If I always want one. You always have one. You always have an umbrella. That's fantastic because you are always ready. Very good job. Let me see. Am I missing someone? Chan, 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 chan. Heidi, no? Yeah, no, Heidi already said her answers. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, yes. So all of you already gave uh, your answers. Let me see. I am going to ask a random question and you can answer me. Let me see. If you are, uh, that's a very good one. If you are hungry in the middle of the night, Marlon says that he eats fruit. What will you eat? Milton, what will you eat if you are hungry in the middle of the night? Mm. Is a possible a, uh, a, a apple. I an like apple. apple? An apple. An apple. apple. Julio, what will you eat if you are hungry in the middle of the night? I re regularly don't eat anything at midnight. But imagine if, if you wake up, it's like, ah. I'm hungry. What will you eat? Maybe I I will don't eat. I will uh, drink some uh, uh, water. Okay, you will drink some water or drink some milk. Good, very good. Catherine, what will you eat if you are hungry in the middle of the night?
If you are hungry, si te da hambre a medianoche, what will you eat? Oh. No. No. <laughs> Nothing. No. Uh -uh. Okay, she, she won't eat anything exactly like Julio, right? Blanquita, what would you eat in the middle of the night if you're hungry? Maybe uh, one yogurt. A yogurt, right? A yogurt. yogurt or a tea. Or tea. Good. Tea. Very good. Oh, water, 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 water. <laughs> water, water, and more but water. This is a problem because. Uh, I need to go to the bathroom and one or two hours later. So it yes. won't be it won't be a win-win situation. Heidi, what would you eat in the middle of the night? Uh, teacher, I, when I prime it in uh -huh. the yogurt to a <laughs> yes. yeah. in me, uh, melocotón. Peach. Yes, teacher. Yeah, when when I was when I was pregnant, I remember that I used to eat uh, salty cookies. This is the like crackers, galleta salada. Yes. <laughs> In the middle of the night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Eso con mango verde. That, that's very good. <laughs> Delicious dish. <laughs> very good. Thank you very much for your answers, my dear students. Here I have some extra examples just for us to. Uh, to keep in mind how we use the if clauses, right? And we are going to uh, to read them, right? Mr. Milton, can you help me to read the first four? If, if I have enough money, mm -hmm. I, I, will, I will buy a car. Good, the next one. If we see chair. Uh-huh. Uh, if we see her, we will tell her what the teacher says. Okay. If I go to the market, I will buy what you want. Very good. If I, if I pass the exam, I will or, organize a celebration party. It's always. <laughs> very good. Cool. Thank you very much. Ana Yancy, can you help me to read these three? Excuse me. Okay. Is you feel bad? Is you feel bad? Uh, you must go to the doctor. Very good. Um, if I am not busy, 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 busy tomorrow. Busy. Busy, busy tomorrow. I will help you. Is is he called you? You should go. Very good. If sure he calls go. you, you should go. You should go. Catherine, can you help me with the next three? Good. If you are hard, you will win the prize. Very good. If you if you listen to me, you will you understand what I mean. If you leave him some money, he might not hide it back to you. Okay, you will understand, understand, right? If you lend him some money, he may not give it, give it back to you. Very good. Mr. Julio, can you read the next two? Sure. If she doesn't leave the house, everything will be bad good if you don't go to the school you will stay at home all day very good mr ismail can you read the next three please hello can you read the next three please uh, i'm sorry could you mark the first one this yeah one. it says if you do not win a scholarship, your father will be very sad. 
If I have enough strawberries, I will take a strawberry cake for you. Very good. If it doesn't rain tomorrow, will you go on a picnic? We will go on a picnic. Very good job. Thank you for the reading exercise we just had. And we are going to continue reading. And this one, it's about um, a very curious situation. Falling in love. Have you ever fallen in love? No, it's not a teacher. <laughs> no, y la esposa la par. <laughs> Have you ever fallen in love? That you say like, ah, everything is colors and rainbows and, and unicorns and all that. <laughs> Asiente si tiene la par su esposa. <laughs> o esposo. <laughs> It's like, yes, yes, teacher, yes, yes. So we are going to read about love. We are going to read about love. And it says, you think you are falling in love. You are really attracted to a certain person, but this has happened before. And it was just a crush, right? It was just a crush. How can you tell if it's real this time? Here is what our readers say. Okay, the crush is just a momentary love that you say like, si sí, te amo, it's going to be forever and ever and ever and ever in one month, done. Sí, los para siempre de la universidad o del bachillerato duraban como una semana. If llamara you are, de tu, de tu, de If you are falling in love, okay, aquí vamos a hacer un checklist y vamos a ver si estamos pasando por todo esto. If you are falling in love, you will find yourself talking to or telephoning the person for no reason. You might pretend there is a reason, but there is no. It's like, I was calling you just to know how many tortillas do you eat? I only two and why two? <laughs> and then you start the conversation. Right? The next one, you will find yourself bringing this person into every conversation. When I was in Mexico, a friend begins and you interrupt with, my boyfriend made a great Mexican dinner last week, right? You always bring this person to the conversation. You might suddenly be interested in things you used to avoid. When a woman asks me to tell her all about football, I know she's falling in love, said a TV sports announcer. Yeah, maybe ladies don't like soccer, but if the boy, loves soccer, then you start investigating about soccer, right? Because you are falling in love. The next one you have. Okay, so you have fallen in love, but falling in love is one thing and staying in love is another one. How can you tell as time passes that you are still in love? If you stay in love, your relationship will change. You might not talk as much about the person you are in love with. You might not call him or her so often, but this person will nevertheless become more and more important in your life. You will find that you can be yourself with this person. When you first fell in love, you were probably afraid to admit certain things about yourself, but now you can be totally honest. You can trust him or her to accept you just as you are. Falling in love is great, but staying in love is even better. So you can tell me, have you ever fallen in love or are you still in love? Uh -huh. Involved. Both. You are, you are, you fall, you fell in love and you are still in love. Okay. Yes. When I meet my met, wife, when you met, met your my wife, wife, I fall in love. And now I, <clears throat> what is the name the other? I am still in love. You say. I am still in love. Yes. Ah, it's so cute. Right. Mañana carne asada le van a dar a Marlon. Iván. <laughs> The <laughs> she, don't, she doesn't understand English. Um, <laughs> when you are in love, the translator. 
<laughs> when you are in love, <laughs> Google Translator. <laughs> It will be good. So, what about what about uh, you, Blanca? The lady's point of view. Are you, uh -huh, are you in love or are you? Uh, did you fall in love or are you still in love? Well, my poor love uh -huh. when I saw my first uh, kid. Ah, uh, really? Yes. <laughs> That was yeah, the, the my theater. husband too, but the pure love, huge love when I saw my my baby. Ah, yeah, that's a, that's another level of love. Yes, yes, Definitely. with my boyfriend or with my my husband, <laughs> yeah. of course. Uh -huh. But these are the other. Uh, it's a different type of love. Yes, definitely. Yes. 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 Uh, ahorita si le dice, yeah, with my boyfriend. Y su esposo así como, ¿cómo que tenés boyfriend? <laughs> like, ah, my husband. My when husband. I know when my I met. boyfriend met my boyfriend in this time. Okay. But yeah, you fell now in love. My, yes. Okay, good. Let's see. Julio, how was your case? Did you fall uh, in love and you are still in love? I think I am still in love uh, because my wife is the more important person in my life. Okay, right. And that's one of the things, right? If you fall in love, this person will be more and more important in your life. Let's see. Ismael, I am I am asking the, the married ones, okay? Ismael. Oh, hello. Are you... Are you in love or are you still in love of your girl? Uh, I'm still in love. <laughs> yeah, yeah, another one that is going to have a special pupusas for tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, okay. unfortunately, unfortunately, she's not listening to me. So. Uh, but, but you have to tell her, you have to tell her that she's the most important thing in your life. Oh, yeah, that's the key. That's true. Anna Yancy, <laughs> tell me. <clears throat> Did you fall in love or are you still in love of your of your mister? If you are falling in love, if you are falling in love. Uh -huh. So you are my you fell in love, uh -huh. My husband. Okay. You I stay in love with your husband. How many years have you been together, Ana Yancy? Uh, how, excuse how many, me. How many years have you been together? ¿Cuántos años llevan juntos? 20, 25. 25. 25. Uh, yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. Blanca? <laughs> they mar married uh -huh. 11 years. 11. Yes. Milton? Uh, 30. 30 years. My, my goodness, yeah, it exists. You see, Mr. Julio? 15 years. 15. 13. Uh, uh, 13. Heidi? No, you are not married, right? I'm not married. <laughs> no, no, no. You say, oh, you should, should. <laughs> Catherine, you are not married, right? No. No. Okay, no. Marlon, how many years? 12. 12. And Ismael? Hey, I lost his smile. Okay, I lost his smile. He he left. Yeah, I have like 18 years together with with my meaningful other. Counting the the sweethearts and then the marriage. Yeah, it has been a lot of time. So we were discussing about falling in love and staying in love. So some characteristics that you remember from falling in love. If you are falling in love, what are some specific characteristics that you remember? If you fall you in always, love- Always remember the person. You will always remember the person in every conversation. What else? You call her for any reason. You call her for any reason and what is another one that happens very often? 
You look for an excuse to go and see the person. What about staying in love? What will be some specific features about staying in love? ¿Qué lo hace diferente a solo estar enamorado, a seguir enamorado? Do you remember some of them? Details. Details with the okay. couple. The details that you keep with the person because you are still in love with him. Yes. Uh, Julio mentioned one that she is what? The most important. She is the person most important in person in your life, right? Those are some differences between just falling in love and staying in love. Okay, those, so that's a very good. It's a very interesting topic, the one that we just had. Well, just to uh, make a little introduction to the next topic, that it's the final topic that we are going to have, eight important job skills. Job skills are abilities that you need to have in order to work, right? Job skills, important job skills. And I have here eight questions for all of you. And you are going to be very honest and tell me which are the ones that you are good at. ¿Cuáles son las que mayor se destacan en usted? And I have here, can you solve problems? Do you work well with other people? Can you use a computer? Can you teach others how to do things? Are you good at math and science? Can you manage money well? And do you speak other languages? Can you manage other people? So those are eight important job skills. Which ones are a check for you? That you say like, can you solve problems? Maybe yes. Do you work well with people? Maybe yes. Can you use a computer? Maybe yes. Can you teach others how to do things? Maybe yes. Are you good at math and science? I will say eh, no. <laughs> or in math. Oh, no, not even in math. Can you manage money well? I will say yes. Do you speak other languages? For sure, I can say yes. Can you manage other people? I will say yes. Which are the ones that are a no for you? Which ones do you say? No, teacher, I am not good with computers or I don't manage money well. Which is one that you consider that you are not good at? ¿Cuál diríamos que es un no, no, no para ustedes? Science. <laughs> science. So this one for Marlon, right? You say science. Eh, no, I am not good at science. Just But for science. the other ones? ¿Y en todas las demás? In, in my case, uh, I, don't, I don't need to manage money. I need to manage uh, human resources. Okay, so uh, can you are you, can you manage money well? You might say no to this one. At work, no. Ah, okay, for work, no. You are more uh, humanitarian. You work more with people. Good, very good. What about yeah. uh, and the other ones? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Let's see, Blanca. What about you? Which um, ones do you consider you are not good at? Really? Sorry, but I speak other language because today I need to uh, talk with the people for my records. Uh -huh. And when I, I speak in English, but it's very difficult for me. Okay, mm. yes, because of the because of the of the different accents that they yes. have. Yes. And it's I very, really very difficult for me. And you can you replay me, please? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's complicated. It's complicated yes. because that's a different thing. That's a different thing. Very good. Let's see. And Ajansi, which one you don't consider good for you? And um, do you speak other language? <laughs> No, but you are learning, we see, that's one that you have to, you are working on that skill, okay? Y eso es importante. 
A little bit. <laughs> okay. Okay. It, that's a good job skill that you are improving. Catering. Which one do you think that you need to work more? Can you use a computer? Okay, using a computer, right? And Mr. Milton? Mr. Milton? Se fue a buscar a Ismael, quizá. Heidi? Teacher. Ah, hey, you are. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. Milton, yes. I, I, I'm, I'm not good at science. You are not good at science. Okay, thank you. And Heidi? In number five. Yeah. Number five, you are not the, good the at math, 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 math and, and science. science. Good, very good. So. For next week, we are going to continue working on this uh, topic. So we're going to continue working on job skills and abilities, okay? Work on the platform. Remember to advance. If you have any difficulty, let me know and I will be more than glad to help you. Have a beautiful weekend, my dear students, and I'm going to see you on Monday for another class. Have a beautiful night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good evening. Thank you. Good night. Have a beautiful night. Thank you for the time. Bye-bye.